Anything else in public works? Well, just those uh, agreements. Not just, but the six-year extension on the jail. Okay. Agreements. Anything else in finance this morning? I think we... Nothing else in finance. All right. Any other items of business from council members? Mr. Mann. Yes, Mr. Chair. I think I sent an email to the clerk about this. We got a letter from the Island County Board of Commissioners, oh, Helen Price Johnson, and um, she... If you've read the letter, I mean, I'll boil it down. They're concerned that there's a proposal to, to uh, change the state law to make it so that if a council or a commission wants to get outside legal advice, because for whatever reason they're, they're not, um, they're, their prosecutor's not able to give it to them, that they're only allowed to go and get that outside legal advice with the permission of the prosecutor, no, which... The Supreme, Superior Court... No, that's already in the law, and they're trying. This guy wants to change it so that the prosecutor has to expressly consent to letting the board do so. Now, I don't know how accurate no, the letter actually, was. Actually, that's there's a lawsuit that is pending where the prosecutor is not asking for a change in the law. He's asserting that the law provides that they have to. Uh, there has <laughs> to be a finding, basically, that the prosecutor is unable to. Uh, represent the county before even the superior court can um, can appoint. So he's he's not trying to change that law. He's saying that already it requires either the consent of the prosecutor or a finding that the prosecutor oh. is unable. It's it, it, there's some pretty complex arguments being made, and and I. I've read through his arguments. That's I, I've seen the motion filed by the prosecutor in Island County. I will advise the council that we have never, ever dealt with RCW 3632-200 in this county. We've always worked cooperatively. There's obviously in Island County been a tremendous breakdown in the relationship between the prosecutor and the commissioners. Yeah. I, I, we've never had this, that here, and I don't anticipate that we will ever face that situation here. So if it's a lawsuit, what good does a letter from us do? I, I have no idea. But I know one of the requests was to indicate how we've used that statute in the uh, past, and we have never used it. it the council has never used understood. it. Understood. So yeah. do you have a legal... Eh, never mind, I'm not going to ask you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ms. Brenner. Well, I, did, I think I sent it to you, and I, I um, sent it to somebody. You did send it to me. I've seen it, and and I, given the fact that um, it, I think they wanted a response by the beginning of the year, I, I definitely pondered it, but I wasn't really ready to. I, I've said most of what I would right. say to you now, um, <laughs> uh, but I, I I don't really understand how they would use the information, but I. I Given that we've never used that statute, I don't think we'd be very helpful to them anyway. Okay, Mr. Kramer. I, I thank you, Mr. Chair, and and I, I you know I understand where uh, Councilmember Mann may want to at least I, I can see why he is interested in in this issue, and uh, but but I, my my suggestion would be you know, consistent with what we just heard from, from our council attorney. Um, we have had, for the, all the years that I've been affiliated with county council and, and county government, uh, we've had a cooperative, good relationship with the prosecutor's office. And I just think that it would, I think it would be prudent for us to maybe resist the temptation or the urge to want to get involved in this issue. Uh, I, I'm sure that uh, Price, uh, you know, that uh, Helen has a, a good reason for her in her county. But uh, here in Whatcom County, I think uh, things have been, and I anticipate will continue in, in 
the foreseeable future to have a very good relationship with our, our prosecuting attorney, and I, I would suggest that we uh, resist the, the temptation to get embroiled in, in this issue. Um, that's, my, that's my suggestion. Ms. Brenner? Well, and that's why I sent it to Karen. When I read it, it sounded really scary, but, you know, the way you've explained it, it, it just seemed weird that we'd be getting this from another county instead of from you guys if something terrible like what it seemed was going on. So I, I think it's frustration that we're seeing, that what we're seeing and what the other counties that got the same communication uh, are, are, we're seeing the frustration that apparently is pretty prevalent in, in that county. So mm -hmm. I, I think we should just, like I say, just not get involved in this one. Things are going well here, and there's no sense. Uh, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Mr. Mann. So I, I appreciate that sage advice, as always, from Mr. Kremen. And I'm just, I'm not advocating to get embroiled at all. And obviously, if it's, it, I'm not even sure what impact our letter would have as a letter of support, but I do, as, as Karen said, you know, there's clearly been a horrible breakdown of trust between that prosecutor and that county commission. Mm -hmm. And you know, we, we, we enjoy a, a good relationship here, but that's not always guaranteed, and you know, personalities come and go, and if a, a point in time came where, if this unfolds the way that prosecutor wants it to, it sounds like we could be prevented in the future from seeking outside counsel if we want it, if our prosecutor decides not to let us. Now, I'm not suggesting that the current prosecutor or the next prosecutor or the next five prosecutors would do that, but if it came to that, I think that'd be a terrible, a terrible development, you know, for us not to be able to go and get outside legal counsel. But maybe I'll send a letter personally if no one else agrees with me. Ms. Brenner. Yeah, I, I really, just because it, it seems so strange what they wanted and what it was about. Um, I just had this gnawing feeling about it, and now after Karen, uh, uh, Ms. Frakes has explained it, um, I, I do feel we should stay out of it. And if something like that happens, there are other options. It's all political. Tell people not to vote for the guy again. Sure. <laughs> Mr. I just want, and I don't want to belabor this, uh, and I, I I believe me. I am s sensitive to some of your concerns or uh, your interest in this. I mean, I, I get it. Uh, but when you, there are checks and balances anyway. I mean, the council. I think it's more important to 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 continue to have this long-standing excellent relationship with with the prosecutor's office and if if there are ever any bumps or any um, problems with uh, you know the council being able to get an outside attorney if if the council was that adamant about it uh, there are ways to to prevail <laughs> so so uh, and I do want to caught if you I guess the other thing I want to mention is that if one council member decides to get involved or respond or you know I I don't even know if that's even appropriate because uh, uh, that communication from Helen I think was I, I thought what, the way I interpreted her communication, it wasn't sent to us individually. It was sent to us as a as a governmental, you know, as a legislative governing body. And I think it's it's not probably not appropriate for one council member to weigh in if the other council members don't go along with it. So, uh, just again, just my advice and suggestion, and <laughs> you guys can do whatever you want. <laughs> And yeah, I was just thinking, 
it might do more harm than good if there's only one council member that's willing to write it. They, whoever's on the other side of it can say, they couldn't even get the majority to support you. So I'm not sure. I'm going to drop it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It was fun. Any other items of business? I, I've got one, and I'm not prepared for this at all, but it, it was a question I know in the last few days we've got emails that the county council gets to vote on the county representative of the Board of Natural Resources. A uh, hmm. person just lost his election, so there's an opening, and we've been getting uh, campaign from different people that are running for that. And I don't remember uh, the council ever having a process for how we do that before. And in the last one we got, it, it looks like we can even apportion our vote seven ways if we want. Um, or nothing. Um, but certainly the Board of Natural Resources, when we talk about reconveyance and recreation on DNR land and a whole range of things, is an important body and it's something we probably should think about how we move forward on that. Although I suspect we don't have time to figure it out this evening and I think probably. the vote is due within the next week or 10 days. So unless you want to... Uh, Authorize the council chair to vote uh, oh. to vote for whoever the board of natural resources member would be, and I'll re remain chair until uh, January eighth. <laughs> I thought you said tonight was your last time. I'm changing my mind. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I don't know the two candidates. I know it's someone from Clallam County and someone from another no. West Side County, but I, but I don't know anything about them, so I, I, I don't even have an educated opinion on who would be better. I'm not Seems interested. Like an, um, important position, Mr. Brown. Well, I, I will make a motion to delegate to, to delegate the authority to vote on that. I second that. Yeah. <coughs> so now I'm going to have to figure out who's. Yes. yes. <laughs> well, we haven't voted yet. Right. All right, so there's a motion to delegate the authority for the vote on the Board of Natural Resources, the county representative, to the council chair. Yes. Any other discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? No. That passes six to one with Ms. Brenner voicing her disapproval of Chairman Wang. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Any other You're other items? You're not getting more chocolates. <laughs> Mr. Brown. So I, I would just read. We had a discussion about um, uh, our legislative anal analyst building a calendar, and I think part of that should include the state, report, the state board votes that come up and everything else. We can just be have a good visibility for this sort of stuff in the future. Yeah, whatever he can include in that calendar would be great. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Anything else? Any uh, council updates? Let's start down at your end. Merry Christmas and a happy new year. Well, that was politically incorrect. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas and a happy new year. <laughs> I'd just like to thank Chairman Weimer for his leadership over the past two years. It's, uh, <coughs> Pleasure having you lead us through uh, a lot of tough issues. So thank you. Thank you. I want to heartily second that. Thank you so much for being chair the last two years. You have done an excellent, excellent job, and I really appreciate it. And I just want to also say thank you to Pete for his all his work. We've already said it, but it bears repeating right here and now. So thank you, Pete. Ms. Brenner? Yes, yeah, since you don't think I support you, I want you to be chair forever because you are definitely one of the best chairs we've ever had. <laughs> to me, it doesn't matter whether I agree with you on issues or not. It's how somebody runs the meeting. And you have always run the meeting with keeping, you know, herding cats, doing a great job of it, and also being extremely personal and, and you know, making people feel very appreciated when they come up here and you, you've just you've done it all right so I'm just sorry you're not gonna be chair anymore but after and again I am so gonna miss Pete you know you guys just don't know where we came from and where we got to in our own relationship with each other we're just such good friends now last but not least Merry Christmas Happy Hanukkah Happy New Year and Kwanzaa. Kwanzaa. And I also, you know, on a very personal level, this is a special holiday season for a lot of reasons. We have been getting, I mean, and it just really struck me so personally this year, so much bad news. And 
So many of us are so very, very, very fortunate in our personal lives and everything else. And instead of all the present stuff, I think the best gift that people can have is love and consideration of other people. And there's so much of it in this community that we are really, really blessed. So thank you to our community. Mr. Kremen. Well, I want to thank all of my colleagues on the council for their very kind comments tonight, uh, including the, the executive as well. It was very, uh, very touching. It meant a lot to me, and you did it well, and, and I want to thank you for that. I also want to thank our staff individually. I mean, Dana and Marina and Jill and Nadine and Jennifer and Christy and Forrest, did I leave anybody out? You did it. They, they, I mean, we really do have an excellent staff. I want to thank you for uh, years of, well, everybody, Forrest, only a month or so. But, <laughs> but uh, uh, you know, the, the, well, all the years that I've been here, I've been so impressed with, with the work that you do and how dedicated you, and caring that you are. And uh, I, I want to thank you for that. And I want to thank the people of Whatcom County again. Um, you've, you've just made such a, you, you've given me everything. And, uh, and I want to thank you for all the opportunities. I love this community. I will continue to love this community. This will always be my home. I may spend some of the, the winter in, in other climates, but, uh, <laughs> But uh, Whatcom County will, will always be my home. So uh, Merry Christmas. Enjoy the holiday season. Have it be a fun-filled and meaningful one. And just stay, stay safe and be well. Thank you. Mr. Sidhu. Well, first of all, best of luck, uh, Pete. And you have served the community very well. Thanks for that. Thanks to the council for teaching this rookie councilman how to, <laughs> how to work with the, with the public process and the staff. You've been very <laughs> kind to me to show me the ropes. Uh, my niece had a baby boy yesterday, so that's another good news. And uh, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Happy Hanukkah, Happy New Year, Happy everything. <laughs> Thank you. All right. And I just, just wanted to say thank you for the kind words about my chairmanship, and I really wanted to thank staff because they, they prepare, prepare this little uh, script here that makes me sound smarter than I am, and then when I really screw up, Dana texts me saying, so that's the secret here. Uh, and uh, thanks to the people of Whatcom County, and, and happy holidays. We are adjourned. <laughs>